What's up, guys? Welcome to e commerce excellence academy again. And today, topic is uh, very critical and sometimes uh, life threatening for the account. And uh, yes, I'm talking about the IB complaint, complaint regarding product quality, counterfeit, and everything else that we can discuss here. So, uh, before we jump into the uh, Every detail through the actual practical that uh, walk through uh, with the account, which have good help, and we uh, uh, we will also discuss when the, some complaint um, came out. So what the possible way, but in the small detail. So this is a series of uh, of this topic. So stay tuned and watch this video till end. So you will definitely find something helpful even for you oh, god forbid if you got some such trouble complaint or for um for you can help anyone uh, to resolve the issue so let's get started before going to uh, in detail it's recommended you can uh, like uh, subscribe to this channel for uh, to get the this video directly into your notification and also like if you think this will content is good and usable okay so first thing first well uh where you get that that you have a complaint uh sometime if you have uh, united states uh, uh mac uh, marketplace so you have and sometime in uh, now in every market have account health um, that was there so you can uh, check this if the account is healthy. So your um, declaration is healthy, the green um, color and the uh, white text. And if account is global, you can see this account is global and have every market access and every market is healthy. So this is very good. But first thing, uh, you will get a notification in your email. And uh, if you miss your email, uh, sometimes you do because a lot of email come to your um, inbox. So you can always go to first thing, um, go down to account performance and go to account health. Okay, uh, in account health, if you have any intellectual property violations, what is intellectual property violation? We're not going into detail. We'll discuss this in another video, uh, which is still uh, in progress in making. But if you have any suspect intellectual property violation, so you will show this goes there. If, for example, if you have one listing and uh, the other listing has uh, uh, suspected to violate intellectual property of uh, any like manufacturer, for example, you are selling a car charger. And you have uh, your car charger is seems to be similar to uh, Samsung. So you got some uh, suspect intellectual property violation here. So what is suspect intellectual property violation? Amazon saying is uh, like uh, you are selling the fake products or it's suspected. It's not it's still confirmed. Okay, it's suspected. So Amazon AI itself uh on routinely uh, uh like a scan million millions of millions layers you heard right millions of uh, listing through their ai systems so they got some time um list uh, like uh, got violation by their uh, self so they highlight the listing they have a red flag and mark that listing so if in that uh, that case they are will be your uh, data will be show here that you then what there for example is the car charger you have some like samsung car charger and what is impacted your listing action there what action generally action may be remove the listing or add the listing whatever that so now there's a problem for example it's very easy if you have a newly created listing and you are planning to send the inventory you still not send inventory but if you're planning to send inventory, so uh, you can uh, like remove the listing and you can go. But if your inventory is already sent or if you have inventory in your warehouse, Amazon warehouse, 
then we will have huge problem because if this uh, this thing have a uh, compliance issue like product quality compliance then there will be problem and you can um got a, like complication legally and as well as inventory will be lost or hold by the amazon okay and the second thing if you go back this we are talking about this product policy compliance issue. If you go back and you go to receive in, um, intellectual property complaints. So what's the difference between two? Uh, first thing is like determined by the Amazon AI that your product has some compliance issue in terms of IP and maybe in future or near future, uh, you will get the problem you highlighted. But in this case, you receive a product policy compl evaluation compliance or IP compliance from an actual seller. From, for example, you are selling a leather jacket and someone, uh, um, another seller think that you copy your uh, product, uh, their uh, leather jacket design, so they mark you, they even can open the case with the U.S. legal department, and you you will maybe sued, and there's a lot of problem. Okay, so everything will be shown here, and this is again this is like SN detail everything, and you also will receive you will also receive the an email the detailing of the all the things, and even the contact of the um the person the company it is uh, targeting you or your product there. This is very severe violation, isn't it? Yes. So you can write the comments or what do you think about this? Uh, another thing is uh, uh, we will cover in this video before going uh, to close this product authenticity customer complaint. What is this? This is uh, not IP complaint itself, but if a product uh, seems to be fake by a customer, by an actual uh, consumer that they bought, for example, you're selling um, authentic airport or Apple products, but they find, the customer find that you are selling, uh, you, they receive the wrong or fake product so they can come and do, uh, report this violation. Again, it can be executed to the receiver complaint, but the first chance it's received here and it was wrong. So today we see where the you in all cases generally you will receive the email notification or notification in your store. But first thing you can go easily uh, review the order status and what the company that. So it, today it's up um, all is uh, covered. But one thing is that whatever the condition, if you are authentic, you have a general products and listing the uh, properly listed. Don't you copy or uh, like images or product listing and description? So don't worry. Amazon always go with the fair, uh, fair um, dealing. So, uh, but there, of course, there's a problem. If you got some complaint, there's a procedure we will discuss down the uh, different down the road how we'll get and do that. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, keep uh, watching and subscribe to the channel. Ecom Excellence, thank you. Bye-bye.